Hello students, myself Mrs. Sabina Pathan welcomes you all to my YouTube channel SVP Class. Dear students, we are studying OCM subset that is Organization of Commerce and Management and we are at the second chapter of our OCM subset that is Functions of Management. Dear students, we have already discussed first five functions of management in detail. I have shared a link in the description box. Do click on the link and watch the earlier videos too for complete understanding of the topic. Now, in today's video, we are going to study the last function of management or you can say the sixth step in the process of management that is called controlling. Do watch the entire video to understand the topic more clearly. As you can see on screen, Controlling is the last function of management followed by first planning, then organizing, staffing, directing, coordinating and the last one is controlling. Now, what is the meaning of controlling? In simple words, to control or to handle something, right? In the organization, manager make control on entire activities of business organization with proper planning to get the desired result. Let us study meaning of controlling in detail. See first point, controlling function is required in all types of organizations whether profit making or non-profit making. Here to achieve the result and to get the desired result Controlling is required in business and non-business organization as well. Second point, it is performed at all levels that is top, middle and lower levels of management as it is indispensable function of management. Here, it is not only for lower level employees. Controlling is not only for lower level employees, but it is for all the employees working in the organization from top level to lower level. One cannot separate this function with other functions of management. Next point, controlling is a function of comparing the actual performance with the predetermined standard performance. It measures deviations, if any identifies the causes of deviation and suggests corrective measures. Under controlling function, actual performance of the employee is compared with the standard performance. For example, if an employee has given a task, say of packaging of 10 boxes, so for this, how much actual time required to perform a task and whether he is completing the work within a time or not. So the required time, then use of motions or machinery, everything is studied in controlling function. And if any deviation or error occurs while performing a task, then manager takes necessary measures to reduce deviations or errors if any, so that the same error will not occur again in future. So, the process of controlling helps in formulating of future plans also. Now, we will study definitions of controlling in detail. See the first definition. According to Knuts and O'Donnell, managerial control implies the measurement of accomplishment against the standard and the correction of deviations to assure attainment of objectives according to plans. Here in this definition, controlling is one of the very important managerial function where manager controls entire activities of business to achieve the desired goal. For this, he ensures that there should be effective and efficient utilization of resources 
so as to accomplish planned goals. Even here, employees' actual performance compared with the standard performance, or if any deviations or errors occur while performing a task, that can be removed to bring perfection or standard in work. Second definition, it is given by Del Henning. According to him, control is the process of bringing about conformity of performance with planned action. Now here what this definition says, controlling consists of verifying whether everything occurs in conformity with the adopted plans or not, whether employees are following instructions or not, and even principles which are established are to be followed or not. So basically here under controlling function, manager makes sure that all the activities are running smoothly or not without any obstacle so as to achieve the target. Next definition, according to Philip Kotler, control is the process of taking steps to bring actual results and desired results closer together. Here, controlling basically compares the actual performance with the planned outcomes and in case any deviations while performing work, the process will start again by removing errors. So, it calculates the deviations and bridges the gap and meet the organizational goal. Therefore, controlling is bringing actual result and desired result closure together. Dear students, just have a look at a diagram to understand it more clear. Attainment of standard is a goal. For this, the manager measures the performance of the employees, means actual and standard performance is studied. After that, manager makes the comparison between actual work and standard work and find out deviations or errors if any while performing a given task. Then they try to find out the causes of deviations and accordingly takes corrective action so that the same error will not occur again in future. And this is all to bring standard or efficiency in work. Dear students, I hope you all are clear with the meaning and definition of controlling function of management. In the next video, we will study importance of controlling. Till the time, be with me and please do support this educational channel. Do not forget to like, share and subscribe my YouTube channel SVP Class. Thank you for watching and stay connected with me for more videos.